Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s, and you guys, I'm back after what I'm going to call my hellacious foundation failure. Um, if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it down below. I did go wash my face, come back, put a foundation on that I really like, and now I feel better. So today's video is going to be on a couple of Milani products that I found at my local Walgreens, and I believe they're new products, and these are new eyeshadow palettes. They're called the Everyday Eyes. They were $9.99 each at my Walgreens. Now, I only got two of them. I saw in my Walgreens, I saw four. I bought two, but I think there's like six or eight of them. Six or eight different palette combinations that you can buy if you go on the Milani website. Anyway, so the two I have is the um, number one must have neutrals and the number three smoky essentials. So when you first open them up, let me open one up here. They do come with this little brush. It's a double-ended little brush here. And really, guys, I mean, the brush is not great. And normally, brushes that come in these type of drugstore palettes aren't great. However, it does do an okay job placing color directly in the crease exactly where you want it. It's not good for blending. No blending. But it's actually, it is pretty good for packing on color in specific places. So I have used it for that. Alright, so when you open up the um, packaging after discussing the brush, I really actually kind of like the packaging. I mean, to me, it's got, the packaging has got that gold, like, metal finish. It, it looks very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it looks very, I don't want to say expensive. That's not the word I'm looking for, but I can't think of the word. Why is it every time I try to film videos, I can't think of words? I mean, I've got the words in my head, but then I can't get them out or I lose them and I can't think of them. I, I'm still thinking this is an age issue. Anyway, so like I said, I really do like the packaging of this palette. It's got the clear lid. It's got the um, gold packaging here, which I think makes the palette look, I want to say, somewhat high-end. I mean, it's, it's pretty sturdy. And I, I don't know, I just really, really like it. So, like I said, the two palettes that I picked out, and I'm going to go ahead and toss the brushes out of here because I'll end up, like, dropping them all over the floor during this video, and I don't want to do that. Um, all right, so like I said, the two palettes that I picked out is the number one must-have naturals and the number three smoky essentials. Okay, now I picked them up at different times. I picked the, actually this one, I picked this one up first at Walgreens. And one of the reasons why I got this one is because when I looked at it, I thought, man, there are some dupe colors in here to the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. A lot of those colors look very, very similar. I bet I can find dupes. I, I wanted to see if that was going to really be the case, if this palette was going to dupe the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Well, let me bring up the Naked 2 here. Okay, so the Naked 2 palette, of course, has got a lot more shades than what the Milani has. I need to back up a little bit so I can fit both of these in the screen. However, there are maybe two, maybe three dupes that I found in these two palettes. So it's not a complete dupe. So if you already have the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, this is not a complete dupe for that palette. Um, for example, let's see. This color here, this first color here, this color actually dupes tees. So that is one dupe, okay? So that actually, even though in the pan itself it doesn't look like it's a complete dupe, but when they're swatched and applied on the eyes, it is a complete dupe. So that one, it dupes tees. And then this one here, right there, it dupes YDK. And again, in the palette, it does look... Actually, in the palette, it looks pretty the same, too. So, so that does dupe YDK right there. Um, there's no other dupes in this palette, really. Um, I thought maybe this would be a dupe for Booty Call. And it's really, really close, but it's not a 100% dupe. And, of course, the blacks. I mean, black is black. I mean, you can't... I think every good palette should have a good black in it. Anyway, so, I mean, it's not a complete dupe for the Urban Decay Naked 2, but, I mean, there are some dupe colors in here. Well, hi, kitty. You guys hear her? 
I think she might want to say hello. She's been wanting to say hello in every single video. Come here. Come here. Alright. Guys, this is Yoshi. She is my 17-year-old little rag doll, and I just love her. And she is supposed to be locked up in the dining room with the other kitty and the doggies. Yeah, because when Mommy's not down there, she has to be locked up because she throws up on things. Anyways, <laughs> for 17 years old, she has learned how to jump over the gate. From We have a gate set up from the dining room to the kitchen. And she just jumps right over it. I mean, for 17 years old, she's one of the most agile cats I think I've ever seen. Anyways, back to the palettes. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me ramble on about my cat all day, even though I do love her to death. I'm just I'm a sucker for any animal. I can't help it. Anyway, so today I am wearing the Smoky Essentials palette. Okay, it looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple of swatches of this palette. I'm not going to do a whole, whole lot. Um, I'm not going to swatch every single color, but I am going to swatch some of them. The black I'm not going to swatch because black is black. I mean, that's just how it is. All right, so these are the colors from the Smoky palette. And they swatch really, really nicely. So I'm really, you know, enjoying the Smoky palette. And the blue is so pretty. I don't normally wear blue eyeshadow, but I am today. And I think it looks actually kind of nice. So those are the swatches from the Smoky Eye one. And let me do a couple of swatches from the Everyday Naturals, or it's called Must Have Naturals, which is this one. And let's see. Let's see if I can get a couple of these guys swatched out here. And of course, I'm not going to swatch the black because, again, you know, black is just black. All right, so here's swatches of the Natural Eyes. And the Must Have Natural Eyes palette, it's not quite as pigmented as the Smoky palette, but I wouldn't really expect it to be because it is supposed to be a more natural look. I am actually wearing the Natural Eyes palette um, in actually a couple of videos ago. I did, what videos were they? I did the. Um, Oh, what was it? My Black Friday haul? I was wearing this. Um, guys, I'll link a couple of videos down below where I was actually wearing this palette so you can actually see how it looks on the eyes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and insert a demo really quick of me applying the Smoky, Smoky Essentials palette so that way you guys can kind of see how I applied them and how they went on the eyes. And while you're watching that demo, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of explain some of the consistencies in this in these palettes. Now these palettes, both of them, do have a combination of both mattes and shimmers. Some of the shimmers are shimmery and some of the shimmers are a little bit glittery. Now the Smoky Eye palette, which is the palette, which is the one that I'm applying here, there is one, two, three mattes. So there's a cream color, there's kind of a taupe color and a black color that are completely matte. They are buttery, smooth, they are just so creamy feeling. I just, I love those. And then the shimmers are really nice as well. The shimmers are more of a, not glittery kind of a shimmer, but a real buttery feeling, nice kind of a, I don't know, they just glide on so, so easy as you guys are probably seeing in this video. So with the Smoky Essentials palette, I am really, really happy with the consistency of all of the shadows in this palette. Then you have the Must Have Naturals palette. And the Must Have Naturals palette has three mattes and three shimmers. So it's just like the Smoky Essential palette, which has three mattes and three shimmers, because there's six shades in each palette. Anyways, the mattes in this palette are gorgeous, buttery, creamy feeling. The consistency of the mattes is absolutely no different than the consistency of the ones in the Smoky Essential Palette. However, the shimmers are a little bit different. There's two shimmers in this palette that are really buttery and creamy feeling that are a shimmery shimmer, but then you have one which is right smack dab in the middle of the palette. It is the 
one that dupes, I believe, YDK from the Urban Decay palette. That one's got some glitter in it, and you don't really feel the chunks of glitter, but it is a bit more powdery than the rest of the shadows, so you can definitely tell a difference in the consistency. However, it does not make a difference in how the shadows apply. The shadows apply the same way from either palette. So the way that these go on, I've got no gripes, no complaints, no qualms over that whatsoever. So I'm actually, the two palettes that I got that I have, I am actually just really, really enjoying these. So, you know, I am wearing the smoky one today, as you guys saw the demo. So that's, that's what I'm wearing on the eyes today. Um, and gosh, I just, I really, really like these. And I really feel, I'm sorry I'm blinding you guys with this gold stuff here. But I, I really feel for $9, I mean, these are amazing palettes. These are so freaking good. I just really, really like them. These are better than any of the other drugstore type palettes that I've tried, such as um, CoverGirl has got those new nakedy kind of palettes out. Yeah, that, these are better than those. Uh, Maybelline has got the nudes palettes out. These are definitely better than those. I mean, these, I just, I absolutely love these. So my opinion on these shadows, as you guys actually already couldn't tell, is, you know, I 100% think that they are absolutely worth the $9.99. And like I said, you know, one of them I thought was going to dupe my Urban Decay Naked 2, and a couple of the colors do, but not all of them, so it's not a complete dupe. And the Smoky palette I have compared to my Urban Decay Smoky and my Too Faced Smoky, and there's really no dupes there either. So, you know, you're not going to be duping any of your... Um, Urban Decay or Too Faced palettes by getting these. So I'm actually really, really enjoying them and I'm going to get a lot of wear out of them. So yeah, so that's about it. So guys, I hope you guys found this review somewhat helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, you can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can look me up on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Am I missing any Facebook under Rock Fabulous 40s? And guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down there somewhere. And you too can rock your fabulous 40s. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.